Hey everybody, Anakis here. We're back playing some Attack of the B-Team on the Geek Planet server. And uh, this is what happens when advanced genetics goes wrong. <laughs> I guess you could say I've cut a thick skull. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. I'm going to show you and I'm hoping we can reproduce it. But I've put a third of a stack of cobblestone on my head. I'm not entirely sure how. I have a theory. Um... <laughs> Hopefully by the end of the episode, I'll remember what my idea was on how this happened. I was shift clicking. Uh, let's look at it. This is funny because if this works, we might be able to put all kinds of blocks on our head. Um, I was shift clicking cobblestone into this uh, better storage crate, and I think it was full. So let's go get some. Uh, let's go get some crap. And let's see if we can fill it up. Um, and then if that works, we'll try to shift click. I think what happened was we'll Grab the soul sand. That'll be good. Um, there was probably You know 42 cobblestone in a stack in there and I tried to shift click a stack and it Filled up or whatever 20 I don't know some numbers and it filled up as much as it could and somehow shift clicked that last little bit into my head We should get some cobblestone too. This is funny. I think this is funny. Uh, let's grab this cobblestone. Oh wait. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's it's full. It's full. Okay. So what we do is—is is this how I did it? Oh, I have no idea how I put that on my head. Dang! There goes my theory. It was a one-shot deal. I thought maybe we could... Oh, I'm so sad that I took it off. Oh, well, you guys saw. <laughs> Dang! Ah, I feel like I've just ruined everything. Um, I got a party hat, so we're going to have a party today. Uh, probably the best hat I've picked up so far. Every day's a party here on the uh, Attack of the B-Team server. Okay. I got a plan for today. I'm going to show you guys the update on the project that I've been working on that you guys saw last episode. It was more of a frame than a building. We're going to actually teleport right there. And you can see the inside first. It's the name portal. Ready? Huh. Ah, okay. This is it. Pretty nice. Uh, I've been working on it, but I got stuck on a part and maybe you guys can give me your opinions. I love this part. This came out fantastic, but I had kind of a lot of that thought out uh, last time I recorded. I decided to go with these giant glass window door thingies. I like them. They're nice. Uh, it looks right, too. I mean, I don't know if a post office would actually look like this. It's more of a train station thing, but that's okay. I still have train stations on the brain. Now, the problem that I've run into is I, I had this stupid arc thing. Um... And I don't know if I like it anymore. Um, oh, crap. No! No, 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 no! Do not blow up my stuff! Um, I did add this. I really like this roof or this little embellishment or accent or whatever. And in fact, the whole building could be finished probably with that roof. And it would look pretty good if we actually fly over to this thing, this not tower that Cat is building. Get quite a good vantage point. On uh, on the build, and you can see eh, it's a bit far. You can sort of see it's an interesting idea. This really strange roof, but I don't know if I want to keep it or not. And I I'm thinking I might cut it out and just finish this roof, and then just have like one of these things. I don't know if you want to call it a dormer window or whatever, or maybe something like that out the side. That might look okay. I haven't really decided. Um, I started messing around because this gray stone was like way too boring. Ooh, hey, look at that. Dang, I didn't get that. Uh, so I do like this. Definitely switching it out to black on top is probably, and I'll probably use stairs, not just blocks, would make it look better. So I'm going to experiment a little bit more with that and then see if I like it. And if I don't, it's coming off. And I'm going to go with a lower build, which is fine. There's no reason for it to be that tall. 
absolutely no reason whatsoever. Um, it's just giving me grief, actually. Uh, I decided to uh, keep the, f the floor pattern going that I had happening here. Uh, all I did was I added wood uh, in the missing bits and extended it a little bit. Oh, how'd you... Uh, how'd you get in here? Um, and then this, I was thinking originally maybe putting the post office part underneath. Um, I still may do it, but uh, I might also just cover these up. Um, it's a real simple building. It doesn't do a lot, but it's got a lot of nice little details. I love the way the windows came out. This is all micro blocks, by the way. Uh, micro block brick. These are solid brick. Micro block windows. Um, and uh, well, actually, that's basically all the micro. Oh, and this is micro black. Micro block slabs. And this, this is a micro block slab, whatever you call it, skylight. So it's coming along well. I'm I'm happy with it so far. These you can't cut, and that's unfortunate because that would have put a half micro block stone, um, smooth stone, or whatever. Uh, pillar on the inside to give it some more depth. So I think what I'm going to have to do... Do I have any left? Uh, I do... I can make some if I want to find my chisel. Just in this bag. I'm so organized today. Look at this. Is this not... Is this, <laughs> you tell, I have no idea where my chisel is. Okay. Uh, if we do this... There's a lot of details on the inside that need to be added. Like... Uh, it's too plain, you know, like I've got the wood, that's good, although I might change it out too, but like, I don't know if we're going to be going with something like this to try to, up to the roof level, to try to give it a little bit more depth. Again, I would have preferred to have cut that, you know, and not made it so thick, but that kind of might look okay, maybe. This I can't really do. I, unless I do it like this kind of continues the pattern and then I could even probably try to incorporate better lighting into this design Ooh, actually I like that a lot hmm interesting let me guess I just made a dark spot for Martin yeah that's what I thought that's what I thought uh yeah so anyway this is going to be a work in progress for a while uh, I'm not going to do any of it on camera I thought about it but I really piddle fart around too much when I build so uh, I don't think it would be an enjoyable experience for you. Now, one thing I do want to do, though, on camera is this little section here. This is what I'm thinking for now for the post office boxes. And we're going to take these out. These were just placeholders. Eventually, I'll replace this whole little section. I'm not sure with what. Um, something. With something. But at the moment, it's just going to be a smooth stone up there. Nobody look up. That's the rule. You want to use this building? Don't look up. If you do look up, don't talk about it. Don't tell anybody. So I made the materials, or I brought the materials to make some strong boxes. Let me get that stuff out of here. Uh, I figure we'll go with strong boxes because... Oh, I'm not going to have enough. Uh, what? Strong box does not accept... Oh. Derp. <laughs> Shh. It's fine. Oh, yeah. I forgot they don't stack. I figure we'll use these because, well, what I like about a strong box, not that we're going to have this, but they don't care if there's a block above them. Don't matter. Uh, I also am intentionally going with the smaller ones, and that's just purely for the fact that these are supposed to be like post office boxes. Um, not, you know, not like a double chest. We should probably put an ender chest here too, though, now that I think about it. Um, so I'll probably hook one of those up somewhere. I don't have one on me. And I probably have lots of pearls back at home. So I'll go get some. But this is just enough space to drop off a package, you know. Uh, in fact, mm, eh, it's limited. But I think this is how. I think this is fine. Eh, it looks pretty much like a post office box thing. Uh, I need a couple or one extra, which is okay. And then I have these signs. So we can put some on, one on each. Uh, I don't think there's a better sign uh, mod or whatever in here. Uh, cat. I'm just going to put a few names on here. Bray. And then we'll just put blanks for the rest. 
Again, I might move. Whoop, hello. Move this downstairs. We'll see. But for now, it can be right here. And it gives this room dual purpose. And I like that. Here we go. It's okay. It's functional, at least. Anyway, not the whole point of today's episode. Uh, today, I have a little project that I want to show you guys. I have been doing some thinking on a little build that a friend of mine is working on. The cat that we looked at last episode, and I want to show you my idea. Before we get going with that, check out this clip I took yesterday while I was working on the roof. Uh, we almost lost spawn. <laughs> entirely. It would have been ripped to shreds, so check that out. Yeah, so that's serious business. I am so glad that I changed the config on that mod. <laughs> oh my god, that would have been bad. So, looking at Bray's cat, I did give it a thorough inspection, including the butt. Um, there is no way in this building. These are all solid blocks. The, uh, the hidden door is a lie. It's not true. I don't think it's true. And I'm not the only person, Jesus, who's inspected it. But I had this idea... Bray wanted to set up this system that uh, the cow would automatically throw fish at you, um, which is pretty cool. And he never had, he never got around to figuring out the mechanics, but I did. Now, there's a couple of different blocks we can use. Uh, and you see, I have an assortment. You see, I have an assortment of gadgets in here. But a couple of different things you can use. You could use an online detector, but the problem with the online detector. Uh, is it has to be tied to a certain person. And like it's not like a command block where you can just go at um, whatever, you know, player or whatever. <clears throat> it has to be a name. So if it's not set to me, you know, it, it only works for me. If it's set to Bray and he's not on, nothing, which is no good. So that block won't work. Otherwise, it's perfect, except that in addition to that, it only shoots out stuff... You know, it doesn't matter if you're not in this world. You could be in the Tropicraft realm. It'll continue to shoot out stuff. That's no good. This is the block that we want to work with, the entity detector. And it has different modes. And that's what I was experimenting with. So if we get a little bit of redstone for testing. Because there's really no indicator on the block, as far as I can tell, um, to, to, to determine if, this, if it's outputting a signal. You need a piece of redstone there. So let's scale back the... Um, there, the uh, the radius and all that. So now it's set to a one block radius in all directions, which is pretty cool. The problem with this is that all oh hello, I fell in a hole. All entities right now are being detected, but I noticed there's a filter on here, so you can set it to um, player, monster, different you know different things. Uh, and I think in our case, player is the right option. So, if we had that set up with the cat, um, we could make this thing do something. Now, I thought a lot about how to use this. Uh, in Bray's case, he could easily have dispensers set up in here, shooting fish out. That would work very, very, very well. Uh, I think that we should give him this stuff and set it up in a way that he can sort of adapt for his own purpose. I was really tempted to do something with the butt. That would have been very funny. But uh, I think instead I'm going to use the front of the cat. And I'm hoping that the head is hollow. And 
Oh, this is what is this? Oh, this is that two-way, two-way mirror jazz. Okay. Let's see here. Um, and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this cat up to be a little more vicious because <laughs> it amuses me so. Uh, hopefully everything will fit in here. He's got all this stuff, but he doesn't actually have any fish gizmo stuff set up. So I think what we'll do is we'll clean this up a bit to make a little space. And we will leave him. I can't leave him that. That's important. Uh, a gift. Good idea. So, I don't know if you guys noticed, but <clears throat> I've been collecting trophies. Um... Let me show you this before we start digging this out. <laughs> and this is what I discovered. Um, trophy. Uh, autonomous activator. And maybe you know this already. I didn't know this, and I think it's just amazing. Okay, so right now I've got it set to... Uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> it shoots it straight up, by the way. Um, where is it? So I've got it set to low signal. So we want to set it to high. And then what you do is you take this entity detector. I don't think it works if it's right next to it. Yeah, it's just outputting a solid redstone signal. No, that's not right. Wait, there we go. Oh, 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 yeah. Gotta apply the filter. See, this is the thing I was telling you about. Oh, it does work right next to it, because if otherwise it's picking up all these arrows. Even though you can't pick them up, there's still an entity. Um... You see what I'm going for here? Uh, I just think it's hilarious. This is just... This is great. I mean, you think about it. If you could get a bunch of these... Like, I got two. And it wasn't very hard. Uh, I've got some other ones, too. But uh, you could set up, like, base defenses to kill mobs. I mean, these arrows do do damage. It's, it's pretty good. So... <laughs> so I think what we're going to do is we're going to load the cat up. Uh, so that this is an attack cat. A very angry cat. Uh, we'll put the entity detector here, I think, underneath the stone. And then what we can do is run... We're going to have to cut this all out. I th five blocks? One, two, three, four, five. Mm, I think we'll have to run some red power wiring, and we're going to have to use... Um, micro blocks to replace the leg um, so that we can actually have the <laughs> the skeleton shooting arrows from the head almost done guys real simple um, all I did was I put in some framed red alloy wire really easy to make that stuff take a look here framed basically you surround red wire with sticks uh, you can color it I didn't do it not sticks strips so a little bit of wood goes a long way. Um, that way we can just run this. Doesn't matter if it's on the ground, and we can also go straight up. But most importantly, we cover it with micro blocks, like so. Uh, we need to cut some black. I don't feel bad about cutting his statue guy up a little bit, because I supplied all the wool anyway, <laughs> and I could definitely replace the wool. It's no big deal this up the only thing I'm not sure about is the strength of the redstone signal like I didn't really count it it could be more than 16 blocks away or 32 I think 32 is the limit um, <clears throat> if that's the case then I might have to put in a repeater also I found this I think it's right here Ugh. jump uh, there you go. Oh, no I can't go up yeah there it is so there's a uh, what, exactly what I'm going to show you guys in a moment. Uh, I decided to go with two activators and two statues. Um, they're already set. Get that out of there. To uh, high. And this one too, if I can click on it. Um, down in the body, we can't really get down there very easily. There's not much to look at. Um, we just have to put in a piece of wire right here to connect these guys like that. This uh, framed red alloy wire will not connect unless, you know, you put one right over top of your... Oh, crap. Right over top of your normal red alloy wire, wire if you're switching between the two. 
This is Project Red. You guys might know this. Uh, I was more familiar with Red Power. They're very similar. Very, very, very similar. Uh, and then the last thing we're going to do up here is cover this over. And I brought some ghost blocks. And these are really neat. Whatever you place this against, it will take that uh, form. So if I place it against this trophy, it takes on the trophy's base block type. Um, it has the same durability, um, or it has really good durability, but you can pass through it. So we're not going to use that. We're going to place it against the wool block. Oop, that's actual wool. We don't want that. Uh, this is what we want. Ghost block. These are cool. This is the Secret Rooms mod, and I love this mod. Oh shit, I did it again. Am I wrong? Maybe it's the block that's underneath. No, it's the block you place it against. So this... Pretty much make it look the way it did. Mobs can spawn on it. Can we place a torch on it? You can. Will that interfere with the arrows coming out of it? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Looks like nothing changed. Now, last bit. Uh, entity detector. Of course, it's going to start firing. <laughs> okay. Let's put the filter. Uh, we want a small radius. I think three should be good. I'm not getting hit. But it is kind of funny. If I had more trophies, I would put more trophies. That is hilarious. I love it. Uh, now, one of these bags, I have that stone that I grabbed. Oops. You could call this a prank. I think I'm just being helpful. Uh, feel free to disagree in the comments. I highly doubt this is going to kill anybody. But if I could find more of those trophies, I might be able to rig it up to kill somebody. Uh, and I'm just going to leave a sign. Properties. Oh, wait. We'll need to use the whole sign. Properties of attack cat industries. Ow. Do not uh, approach. <laughs> Love it. It's just epic. Oh, you know what the last thing we should do is? Uh, to give him a clue, if he doesn't notice the signs, I brought some redstone. Hopefully we can pop these guys in here without affecting the... Um, without affecting the activators. Let's go test that. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Oh, it's so awesome. <laughs> I'm very pleased with this. Uh, I like doing little projects like this, little pranks. Uh, it makes me feel good, and I like to fiddle with little things, like <laughs> trophies and activators. And Please, uh, just a concept for your fish thing. Please return. I would like the parts back if he doesn't want to use this as an attack cat. Um, but the same idea could be used with the red power and whatnot to uh, to launch his fish at people. You know, especially if he can fit an MFR farm in there and just spawn a bazillion tons of fish. Um, how would that work? We could use Tropicraft fish. Uh, otherwise, I'm not really sure how he's going to fish a whole bunch of fish and fill it up, but uh, we, can, we can throw Tropicraft fish maybe at people somehow. I don't know. Definitely item detector is the way to go. Anyway, guys, that's it. Cat attacks. I love it. Um, I couldn't be happier with this. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Yeah.